Hey, Denise's Journey here with another silly little video. Today I'm going to show you how to prepare fresh spinach to put in your freezer. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to fill our sink up with water and we're going to try to get the excess dirt out. Even though if it's been pre-washed in the package at the store, it may still have some dirt in there. And then you're going to put it in the strainer to get the excess water out. Next thing I'm going to do is put it in my pot on the stove. We don't need a whole lot of water with this because it has, it's mostly water anyway, but we're just going to leave it in here for about three or four minutes. I'm going to add just a little water, not much, a couple tablespoons, just in case. Just put me a lid on it to get it to steaming in there and start reducing the size of the spinach. As you can see, that's reducing down very nicely. And we're almost done. You add a little salt and pepper to taste. And that's how you cook fresh spinach. Okay, next what I'm going to do is I've drained all the excess water out of spinach. I'm going to let it cool down. And then I'm going to package it in food saver bags and put it in the freezer in portions for each meal. And then we'll take it out, thaw it, heat it up a little bit, and it's ready to go for dinner. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I've cut some wax paper and I'm going to take my block of spinach and the containers, put it in the containers and I let it get real hard so it's easier to wrap these. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to wrap it up like this and I've got my seal meal bag. I'm going to place that into the bottom of the bag. Okay, now that I've got it in my bag, we're just going to pop that in the seal meal. And that's it. Look at that. Sucked all the air out of it. And to keep it from getting frostbit, and you just cut it open, take what out you need, seal it back up. Love it. 